You just look at the headline, you go, okay, wow, what's going on with these bus drivers? But if you watch the video, which we'll show you in a minute, you'll understand why. Um, and it's, there, it really was a mistake. I've been crying, crying, crying. I can't even have more tears for just a mistake. It was a mistake. Bus driver Amal Hanna is beside herself after being fired for drinking while driving children from school in Smithtown. For the people like me, they don't drink. How they get it all? This is our liquor. When heading out to work on Wednesday, Hanna grabbed what she thought was a regular seltzer, a white claw that her roommate had left in the fridge. Normally I take a snack and food because the chemo, I have to eat and stuff and I'm working late. Suffering through chemo treatments, Hanna has trouble tasting and says she didn't taste any alcohol. She also claims she didn't know there was alcohol in White Claws. However, when the White Claw was spotted in the cup holder on the bus, she was removed immediately. We spoke with several parents who said Miss Amal was meticulous, always on time, and treated their children as if they were her own. She was so sweet just being kind to them. I can't imagine she would ever do anything to harm them. Hannah has been a bus driver for 15 years and took great pride in her job, something that was evident to parents who had children in her care. Nobody was hurt, but I think it was a very honest mistake. I love the kids. I love my company. My company is so good to people. Okay, so uh, now you know the, the whole story, as Paul Harvey would say. Now you know the rest of the story. Um, she was caught drinking while bringing students home. She will not face charges. Uh, they Police do believe that uh, she grabbed that, uh, realizing... The, not realizing it was alcoholic. Um, so there was no accident, you know, no running off the road. Um, I, it didn't, did it go, it didn't really mention the details of, was it a student that saw it? Was it a parent that looked in and saw it in the cup holder when she stopped? Mm -hmm. So no accident, no, no damage, but um, just a, an interesting story because depending on how you react, uh, you need more information oftentimes, right, True. Katie? Yeah, and, and this is, I mean, this is a good case of like, let's get the whole story before we figure out how to approach this. Now, what's quite fascinating to me is a simple fact that when it's, you know, cases of sexual abuse or or other teachers doing things that are like horrific to children, it's like, oh, well, we can't comment and we're going to, you know, it's under investigation and they dilly dally for so long on all these things. But I, I take the cynics approach of, well, of course, it's, you know, someone who is undergoing chemotherapy and made an what seems to be an honest mistake on her part, a mm -hmm. six-year-old woman, mm -hmm. and immediately, well, we got to take action. This will look good. Like, oh, we can, you know, we can dilly dally on all the things that like are truly horrific. And then this one is, in my opinion, kind of. Yeah. Eh. Now, obviously, if there would have been an accident or something, right. God forbid, and happened to those kids, then we all clearly would be like, well, see, she was drinking, and uh, you know, we can go on and on about it. But I just want to make a little side note. Yeah. Um, I had a friend <laughs> who he was in college. And he um, openly was drinking, I think it's called like Four Loco or something. It has alcohol in it. Okay. In his college class. And he had no idea. He thought it was an energy drink. And so he didn't find out until after the fact. He's like feeling weird about it. He's like, and he looked at it. And he's like, oh, this has alcohol. And he's sitting in his college class out in front of the professor. Like, mm, I'm just drinking along. Like, didn't know. So, and I mean, he was 19 at the time. But he's an, maybe like her, more of an innocent who who doesn't they think like no they didn't Did, like catch him they, he didn't get in trouble no like the, unless the professor didn't see it but like it was out there on his desk and like all the students probably were like why is a kid drinking in class yeah. <laughs>